Hello, dreadful adventure tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem with me, Blue Ankylo. With Uhai's dying words still sounding in their ears, they venture deep into the forest's heart. Lin moves in utmost silence, cautious not to alert any hidden enemies. However, following on her path, a new black fang shadow appears. Should be a side mission today, if I uh, did things correctly last time. Imprisoner of Magic. Okay. Okay, we were supposed to look for a rotted tree, that's right. Uh, oh hi, said something about that. As long as he didn't say east and you guys messed it up, but sure. It's probably just a wood tick. No big deal. Oh, quit harping about what your father's doing. Whether he joined the rebellion or not, we already know he's trying to stop them. It would be happening faster if they kept if they stopped repeating the same line though, honestly. I get it. Hollywood's a bit unsure about what's happening with his father, but as far as I'm con concerned, we've got a pretty clear idea, you know, what's going on. Eh. Just Marcus. Alright. Let's do this guys. Well, usually you'd send some scouts up ahead or something that could you could move cautiously, right? You'd probably keep the big armored soldiers and horses, the war horses at least, near the back of the line. Just so you didn't alert all the enemy. I'm not sure who we have for good... I guess we've got Matthew. Just send him up front and have him scouted out. Well, yeah. <laughs> Lord Ion, oh boy. Are they using Pegasus Knights to scout us? Wow, good job, enemy. You're way smarter than us. <laughs> oh, racism. This guy is probably eviler. He would have killed Lin if he had the chance. Mmm. I don't like the start sound of that. Ha! Ah, yes, but you're a stupid computer! <laughs> you have no chance! Oh, are you gonna finally join up? We didn't send our scouts out, so it's gonna be an ambush. Lucius, kill him! Alright, let's see what we've got! Oh, lots of mages. So I'm definitely gonna want my mage. Wow, it's like all armor and mages. And Pegasus Knights. Okay. This is an interesting combination. Um, Kanas should do real well. Uh, and I might bring Lucius. I don't know. There's only really one target for him. Although the uh, the armor will be low res, probably. Yeah. So Lucius and Kanas. Maybe Urk. Maybe not. Depends. How many can we even bring is the question. Twelve. It's a little bit better than the last map, right? I think. 
Is 12? No, we had 13 last time. Boo. Um. Probably want to bring an archer. And really, we don't need swords, so Raven might be out of it this time. We need uh, axes for these guys and, like, magic to uh, counter them. And people with resistance, so probably uh, Florina as well. And there could be more reinforcements, but looks like a fairly straightforward map. Oh, right, I should check the boss. He said something about thunder magic, right? I know I'm... I have a habit of uh, not checking all the weapons ahead of time. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. So this is uh, kind of an annoying attack. We can probably draw it out. If we, t if we do it properly at range 10, we can draw out five of these and it'll break. It might be easier to do that than to rush them. Um, that's 24 damage. Yeah, he's got 24 damage minus your resistance, so Florina would take 17 per hit. She could, as long as it's not a crit, and I think those long range ones have like really bad, like they should not have crit rate, yeah. So I bet you Florina could tank it out and we just have to spend 5 turns healing her up. She'd take, uh, what was it, 16 or something damage, we'd heal her and then she'd get hit again next turn. Uh, so we could theoretically drain his uh, bolting like that. Uh, the other people who might be good are um, Kanas. He's got more resistance, less, almost as much HP actually. He's he's turning out pretty strong. So he'd take like 13 damage per hit. So yeah, I've got a couple people. I think it's color magic, right? Yeah, nature. So he actually would be at an advantage. There's a relatively good chance the enemy would miss, but that doesn't drain the durability, I don't think. Unless you hit. So, you know, whatever. Uh, anyway, we'll probably not bring Matthew or Raven. Not sure about Lucius. Maybe. Problem is Lucius is weak, sort of weak to these guys. Um, I suppose there's some inventory management we could do first, quick as well. I'll try not to spend tons of time. Like, I know last chapter I spent an entire episode just getting everyone ready to go. I'll, I'll try to speed this up a bit, but some of the stuff we just gotta do. Unfortunately, there's no way to, like, switch characters from that screen. So we'll just load everything up that we don't need into the, uh... Into the storage for now. So I'll probably bring Rebecca. I might bring Dorcas. Um, not Raven, not Matthew. Could use Lynn, it's, you know, she's not got a real advantage here on anyone because she's not, um, she doesn't have a weapon advantage on anyone, but you don't want your heroes to fall behind in level. But I might skip her just so I can bring more, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Uh, Rebecca for sure, probably Dorcas. So then it's down to like Urk or Lynn. And I've currently got three. Three ranged. I've got Lucius, Rebecca, and Kanas. Um, we've got Florina. Oh, I should probably store Fiora's stuff too. I'm not going to use Fiora. Um, she may be technically a bit stronger, but I've already put uh, stat boosters into Florina. And she's actually been growing quite well for us. Now, you could bring two Pegasus Knights, obviously. Uh, but I'd rather try to keep my party diverse. I'd like to bring one of each class, give or take. So, uh, doubling up on Pegasus Knights isn't gonna happen. I mean, I might double up on Cavaliers, because they're so good. But, uh, that's, that's different. <laughs> so, would this work? What would I change? The only one I might change would be Lin. I think I want Oswin. He'll be good against the armor. I don't technically need Sane and Lowen, and Sane's getting pretty high level. So I could trade Sane out for someone, but his movement is just so good. Could bring another healer instead of Priscilla, but it's not going to be a big deal. I could cut out Lin, but I'd rather her get a bit... Yeah, I'll just leave it like this. I'm not going to stress about it. Our rank? Uh, it's a little bit better than it was last time I looked at it. And we'll see if this old hag has anything useful to say. Probably not. Yes. 60 gold, a little bit cheaper today. 
Uh, match. Yeah, I'm aware of that. They will not attack from the front. Something may happen if you wait. For good or for ill. Well, probably for ill. So I did look up, um, this, this one isn't a big surprise, but, um, we will get reinforcements from here, half a dozen turns in, and I think from this castle as well. I'm not sure if anything comes out of the ruins, but I know for sure we need to leave someone to guard Merlinus from these guys. And obviously the Pegasus Knights will just fly right over the mountains, so... Alright, well this gives us a chance, let's maybe move, um, spend a little bit of time setting up my first turn here. So, I want Rebecca to kind of guard the mountains. Who else would be good against the Pegasus Knights? A Hurrid, I guess I could have brought Will as well. I'm never going to need two archers though, so that's not going to happen. Uh, I could use like her and Oswin. Or maybe Dorcas. Because Dorcas would have the axe advantage and he's pretty accurate. Pretty good speed and skill. How strong are these things anyway? Slim Lance. Iron Lance, Slim Lance. Most of the enemies are like level 6, so we're already like nearly double their level. I'm not too worried. We could have, we could definitely bring some of the B team and level them up here without too much worry. So Dorcas will probably go up. Uh, we'll leave Priscilla in the back. Lots of mages, so we're going to put Kenass a little bit closer to the front so you can get up there quicker. I still never decided about Lucius. Maybe I should switch him out. Am I ever going to use Urk? The question is basically... Do I intend to just bench Urk for the rest of the map? For the rest of the game? If I want to use him, I should keep using him so he gets levels up. He is... A couple levels behind Lucius. Lucius is really good though. Like, the speed there is insane and good magic. Like, I'm really happy with how Lucius is doing. Totally glass cannon, no defense at all, but uh... That's fine. Ah, I'm not going to worry about Urk. So should I move anyone around? I think this is fine. Well, Rebecca's going to be on defense, so I'll leave her back here. Probably Rebecca and Dorcas will be enough to defend against these guys. Rebecca will one-shot them for sure. I might keep one of the knights around, the cavaliers or something. Alright, let's just get to it. Maybe put a save in, I suppose. Alright, Merlinus. Ooh, that's a dumb place to deploy your tent. Rip. It's in front of the army. Why wouldn't it be, like, back here? <laughs> uh, see, like, he's in range of the mages on turn one. What's that? <laughs> what a dummy! Why would you do that? Oh, also, I was looking at some options here. I'm going to change unit to burst. All this does is change uh, the little HP bar for them. Well, it, cuts, it gets rid of the bar, but it puts the dialogue right beside their um, character. I think I spend less time because, you know, if it's in the corners, depending on where you're on the map, it'll go to the top right or the bottom right or the top left or the bottom left. This way, it's always right beside the character. So I think I like that a little better. And... Um, I don't even remember, like, let's turn animations with backgrounds on and see what that does. Um, alright, so... The big guys can't hit. They, they can't move close enough on the first turn. Is there any kind of weapons I should be looking out for? Nosferatu is the one that drains HP, but, uh, we should be okay. Uh, fires, nothing. Fire. Fire. Iron Lance. Iron Lance, Iron Lance, Thunder, Steel, Thunder, Iron, so it's just basic stuff. There is one Brigand down here, I guess having Lin, she can kill that one. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not too worried about weapons on any of the enemies right now, so I'm willing to move a little bit closer. I think that will, well, we'll have to put someone in these two squares that will block up the Merlinus. And I'm pretty sure Kanas will be totally fine against these guys. They can do 8 damage, so he'll take 0. Yeah, he's totally fine. Okay, good. So, I do need to move someone into one of these squares. So, that can be maybe Florina? We just can't make it. 
Sure, Florina can move up to here for now. And uh, if they decide to sh hit her with magic, she can throw a javelin back at them. So that'll guard Merlinus for turn one. Now we gotta be prepared for these uh, Pegasus to start rolling through fairly quick. I don't like the placement of Merlinus here, actually. I was thinking I was gonna have to defend more up on this side. So that's kind of annoying. Can't plan on top of it. Um, I'd like to not put Oswin in range of the mages if possible. So he can't really move very far right now. Once we start breaking through, I'll use him, I'll try to use him to, to maybe break these guys, but you know how it is. Alright, so I want Rebecca as far over here as I can get her. I forgot to give her the longbow. I meant to do that. Got lazy. I was trying to rush through the uh, some of that deployment. It's my bad. Okay, so we can... Actually, I'm going to keep Hector... I feel like I'm going to want Hector and Dorcas to help defend early against those uh, Pegasus. Just remember they're pretty weak against magic. Oh, why didn't I bring Dart? Isn't Dart better than Dorcas? Ah, oh, I f see, I should have... I told him, I just thought Axe Guy, bring the Axe Guy. Oh well, we can bring Dart next time, it's fine. Okay, so we need to leave one space by Florina. Start getting, get, not much else that we can really do here, so we'll just move everyone down a little bit. Kind of a boring first turn. I might leave one of the calves up here, just in case I need help against the Pegasus. And then the other Cav can sort of rush. It should be quite easy for Sane to go down and kill a mage. Now the um, the uh, the augury was to um, take your time, and something good might happen or bad. But I'm not a huge fan of sitting around and waiting, especially when I'm recording. I feel like that makes for a worse episode. So, is the back of the screen different now? Yeah, it used to just be the battlefield. Now they've added, like, you know, just like a standard GRPG background picture. We can leave it like that for a while, just for it to be a little different. Shows that you're fighting in a forest. That's kind of cool. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure Canis could basically kill all of these mages on his own. You know, the, the Nosferatu Dark Mage might be a little bit more interesting, but... Come on, good stats. I'll take it! Defense on a mage is like, he's like the tankiest mage we've got. That's actually crazy. He's got seven defense points? On a mage. Sure, he's a shaman technically for black mage, but like, it's more than almost anyone on the team other than my tanks and the calves. Really, it's more... The only people that can compete with him are, are Oswin, Hector, and the Cavaliers, who are all very, very physical, sturdy units. Cool! <laughs> okay, so... Don't get into range of those two. Try to draw out the Black Mage with Kanas. Try to kill this guy if I can. Hmm... Well, I could. I could use, uh, Sane. Or I could use Florina. Florina would be better because then if the Nosferatu guy goes after her, 17 damage minus 7. So she only take 10 damage instead. Yeah, okay. And she might take 2. She's definitely got enough HP though. As long as we kill the Armored Knight, um, she's totally safe. All right, well, we got one good level up. Keep it on, keep it coming. I'll take it. Resistance, strength, that's nice stuff. It's, I don't know exactly what her defense growth is. Uh, it would be four right now if I hadn't given her the Draco shield. <laughs> it's not good. Okay, so this guy can move technically into this square. So if I stand here to kill this guy, um, I'll be able to counter um, the mage next turn. This is planes as well, which is even better. Uh, so it's easier to hit him. And this guy stands no chance. 
So eventually, Kanas will be able to get a Nosferatu Tome himself as the Black Mage of the party, and he'll be able to heal himself as he kills enemies, which is as overpowered as you might expect. <laughs> He's almost guaranteed to be uh, on the main party for the rest of the game. Now, this guy might go for Florina. I don't think I'm too worried about it, though. This guy can't hit anyone. You guys can't hit anyone. So then we want to think about... Yeah, these. So only one of them can hit Merlinus. It's going to be rather difficult to block it, but we could. Maybe. Mm. Unfortunately, the only person that can get to the two squares I need to is Dorcas. Well, I'll put him over here. Give him that axe. I want uh, to get that longbow while we're here. Because this can make... It's, it gives you some nice tactical options having a range 3 attack. And I don't think we're going to be able to block this guy. Uh, well, nah, that's not true. Um... Okay, we're gonna go Oswin, Rescue, Hector, Lowen, Take, Hector, and drop him there. Ta-da! We did it! <laughs> Don't forget how that Rescue, Take, Trade stuff works. It's pretty handy. Alright, Lynn. Honestly, I'm gonna keep her up because I, I know eventually something will spawn out of there. And she's not gonna have a whole lot of use down here right now. I'll send Elliewood though. And we'll send uh, Sane, of course. Priscilla. Somebody will be taking damage, so I'll just keep her in the middle. And Lucius might as well head down because he's not going to be terribly useful against the Pegasus Knights. All right. Now I didn't do the math to double check, but I was pretty sure Dorcas would be able to fend off some Pegasus. And I, I do apologize for forgetting to bring Dart, because uh, I totally forgot he even existed. Dorcas is looking pretty strong, though. If you get a good level up, maybe I'll keep you on the team, Dork. Strength, skill, luck. Well, he's kind of a glass cannon, which is more dangerous on a physical unit. Oh, I didn't block up for Rebecca. Oh, well, it wasn't a big deal. Could have left someone there, I just didn't. All right, you going after Florina? Thirty-nine percent chance. Yeah, you got nothing. You got nothing, punk. Wonder if I can visit those ruins. Should check actually. We can indeed. All right, I might want to do that. And Florina, Florina would be a good bet. Uh, Lucius is actually close enough to kill that mage. That's kind of fun. Keep an eye on the enemy. We got like the bulk of the enemy army coming up here. So we want to be careful how we draw them out. Only like half the Pegasus even attacked us. It's kind of silly. Anyway, this one's like there's nothing you can do at this point. I might as well let Rebecca kill him, but it's kind of silly at this point. Even Rebecca gets a double. This might be. This is the first time I've shown you guys the bonus damage from an archer. I guess the enemy haven't had a lot of flyers, so that's maybe why the archers on our side are kind of weak early on. In some Fire Emblems, the enemy gets flyers way quicker and you get much more use out of your archers, but right now I'm like, chapter 18, have we even seen an enemy flyer yet? I don't know. Alright, so uh, like I said, probably use Lucius here, maybe from the forest. Uh, he... 7% chance. <laughs> I'm like... I was trying to do the math because if Nosferatu hit, he would drain some HP back. But then we got a crit anyway, and I figured 7% chance is so slim. Magic resistance, pretty standardly good stuff. And I'll leave the physical units up front, and we'll just wipe out the last mage with uh, Kanas. I got Oh, you know what? I, I really should double check the range on the boss. Um, that bolting has a really long distance, so I need to be careful I don't accidentally walk into it. 
have a feeling Kanas must be getting close to a weapon level up too. He might be one of the first people to get to level A magic hack, level A weapon, honestly. What uh, units that only have one weapon type tend to level up quicker because they just they don't have to share the XP. Cavaliers have a hard time getting up to A just because it's you know, they got well at least you just focus on one, but the the variability of, of lance and sword is what one of the things that makes them really good. All right, so this guy, I think this is actually wrong. The red because that's what he could do. If he moved and cast magic, and you'll notice he hasn't moved over and cast magic on us yet. So it's really more like 10 range. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Wow, I was one square off. So this line here is. That's the danger zone. Try to remember that. It's basically the edge of these mountains. If you look at those two squares and then just diagonally. That's what I gotta remember. Now, I could put someone within that to start drawing out some of his boltings. Someone with enough HP and uh, resistance, but I'll save that for a little later. Maybe if you're really trying to speed rush this map, you might want to do that right on the first turn. Put Florina like in this thicket or something, or maybe on a peak where she gets avoidance. I don't know, maybe. And, uh, and use that to, to start. Anyway, let's visit this place. Oh, it's actually a town? I thought it was like a pyramid or something. Huh? Renault? Renault? I don't know. Well, Florian has trouble with men. Nah, we're not so dark. Also, I thought they said there was no towns on this island because no one's ever returned. How do they have a town here? Ooh, what are you giving me? <laughs> Is it like, don't die item? Goddess icon, oh that's just like HP or something. Just HP. Or luck. Not even HP at all, I was totally wrong. Well, like I said, we could buff up Florina's luck to even better, but uh, I'll probably give that to somebody who has bad luck that I want to keep around. All right, so... Uh, let's see, it's easy to draw out the one guy. We might draw out two at a time. I'm not really that worried. Like, if I put someone... in range of that square, two of them... So, they're just Iron Lances, right? Maybe Steel Lance. Zane is 13, Lowen is 12. Let's put Lowen here. It's a good forest tile to defend on anyway. I'm gonna move Eliwood this way. Actually, can I draw this guy too? Yes, I can. If I put Eliwood here, we should fight him, and he'll be, he won't stand in the forest. We'll be standing in the both in the plains, and we should draw out the axe guy. And uh, I'll just keep one of the uh, one of my one of my guys here. I don't know which one this guy will attack. I don't care. If they both go after Lowen, I'm sure he'll be fine. The first one might go after Sane because he's not in a forest. Uh, meanwhile, I do know something's going to spawn up here eventually. What turn are we up to now? I think it's like six or seven turns or something like that. Nope. Uh, status. Turn three. We've probably got a fair while to go. I still kind of feel like these uh, Pegasus Knights might move in, so I'm not in a big rush to move those guys. We'll keep uh, Priscilla near the group. We haven't taken any damage at all, have we? 24, 25. Oh, I could have healed up Florina, I guess. Um... Start moving Oswin down, I think. Alright, that'll do. I guess... We'll see what the enemy does. Ooh! Nasty purple goo. Source. 
is distorted. Oh, he's got one of those uh, anti-magic seal thingers. Yeah, that. So that means we don't have to worry about bolting. Or the enemy mages if they're standing in the dark goo. I'm pretty sure I could have found a way to get through without having to worry about bolting anyway, but uh, I mean that'll make the boss pretty easy. He literally can't hurt us. I'm pretty sure it blocks staves and all three colors of magic. I'm not sure if it would block a leaven sword. It might. If you have magic based weapons that do magic damage. You messed with the wrong lord, axe guy. Alright, Alleywood, come on, don't fail me. It's good enough. Strength and luck, a little bit of resistance, I'll take it. Alright. Well, we'll deal with this next episode, but this does mean that, um... Well, the only time he can cast his magic is if he's in these blue squares, or the lighter blue squares. Um... That's kind of cool. We got some pretty high level snipers here. Uh, reasonable level knight. And Kishuna, who's just... His job is just to steal, seal magic. 24 speed. Weird. And you can't cast magic on him anyway, because the range. Interesting. Well, we'll deal with this development in the next episode. So thanks for watching, folks. Hope you have enjoyed. And have a great day.